Hello, good morning, children. Today we start our lesson three, Roman numerals. Okay. So, children, do you know from where Roman number came from, or where is the city of Rome? Okay. So this is your work. Okay, you think and tell me in WhatsApp. Okay, and uh, we will be discussing further. Okay, so your work. You think where the Romans number could have come from. Or where is Rome? Okay, so these are the two questions. You can search, research it, okay, and tell me via WhatsApp. Okay, children. So now for now, let us try to understand what Roman numerals are actually. Okay, so Roman numerals were used by uh, empire, like in a like there's a place in the world that place you have to find by yourself. Okay, that people those people used to use roman numbers okay those people there was a big empire okay which was known as roman empire over here only this numbers discovery actually happened okay they discovered and they used this number system okay so in their number system okay one used to get represented by i okay five used to get represented by v 10 used to get represented by x 50 used to get represented by L, 100 used to get represented by C, 500 used to get represented by D, and 1000 used to get represented by M. Okay, children, understanding? So, very simple. So, in Roman number, in numerals, what you have to do is, you have to just know what I stands for, what V stands for, what X stands for, what L stands for, what C stands for, and what D stands for. Okay, children? So, I have missed out M. So, let me write M also. So, what M stands for? Okay. So, you have to know only this much and you will be able to do most of the question based on this topic. Okay. Now, let us see children. Okay. Let me tell. Just imagine if I give an example. Okay. If I say write 3 in numerals. So, how will you write? As you know, 1 is I. So, 3 will be 3 I's like this. Okay, children. So, 3 will be 3 I's. Okay, now example, another example. If I say, how will you write 7? So, as you know, 7 is made up of what? 5 plus 2. So, 5 as you know, it is V and 2 is 2 I's. So, this is how you have to write 7. Okay, children. Now, example number 3. Let me say, if you want to write 15. Okay. So, as you know, children, what is 15 made up of? 15 is made up of 10 plus 5. So, 10 is going to be how much? X and 5 is V. So, this is how we write 15. Okay, children. Now, another example. So, how will you write 56? Okay. So, 56 children, as you know, is made up of 50 plus 5 plus 1. Isn't it? So, it should be how much then? It should be L plus V plus i okay so or you can say all together you can all together say it l v i okay it could be l v i okay children it will be what l v i okay now i will pause for some time so that you can copy this okay now what you do is uh, let me give you some more example okay uh, <clears throat> what should I do next is actually I will give you more examples based on the same topic. Okay, now let us see with three digit numbers. Okay, now example number three. Let me say if it is uh, 300, if it is 307, how will I write 307? So as you know 300 is made up, 307 is made up of 300 plus 5 plus 2. So as you know 300 means 3 times C, okay, so C, 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 okay, 5 means V and 2 means 2I. So, this is your Roman number based on this thing, okay, Roman number based on your, uh, Roman number based on this thing, okay, 3 desert, okay. Now, let me give you another example, let me say if, if it is 600, uh, 9 okay so what do we know children 600 is actually 500 plus 100 plus 5 plus 4 isn't it 
because this is 600 600 plus 9 is going to be 609 so 500 we know it is d 100 we know it is c 5 we know it is v and 4 we know it is like this okay 4 children is always represented like this okay the number which is always like this should be represent like if it is uh, 4 that means 4 is just before 5 so when we represent 4 which is before 5 we represent like this okay children now if it is your uh, 2020 okay or let us consider our year our present year how will you represent present year in roman number system so 2000 is actually 2000 plus 20 plus 1 isn't it children so 2000 means 2 times m okay and 20 means 2 times x and 1 means i okay so this is how we represent our year which we are living right now in roman number system okay children so very simple not that hard okay so this is what i wanted to discuss in this topic okay so from this topic you have to do some questions as your homework and classwork okay so which i am stating it right now okay uh, from here okay uh, from here your classwork okay your classwork will be question number 12 and 13 and your homework from this part is going to be question number 14 and 15 okay so from the next part i will be giving you again some classworks and homework okay that as soon as i complete this discussion i am going to continue in this topic only so everyone should, so i think so everyone has understood okay this is very simple topic okay not that hard you just have to memorize this table after you memorize the table you will be able to frame any numbers into your roman number system okay children so this is very simple so what i want you to do is copy this uh, thing which i have written in the board in your copy okay then after that you should continue to do your classwork as well as homework okay children so i will be continuing the next topic which is lesson 4 just after some time please wait now children our next topic is making numbers okay so under this topic we are going to learn how to compare an order number okay first we will be learning how to compare and order numbers okay not only that we are also going to learn how many numbers can you make okay so this is another topic how many numbers numbers can you make okay so this is another topic okay so this this topic children i want you to make it aware only from before okay this topic is going to be very interesting so before doing any interesting topic like let us do a bit boring topic the topic which you have already done before also just for your recap i am teaching this okay just for your recapitulation so that you may so that it comes in your mind again okay child you already know this thing but still let me teach you okay so comparing numbers okay so children <clears throat> just imagine if you have any three digit number okay any three digit numbers okay so <clears throat> when you compare this two three digits number okay what you have to see over here is you have to compare the first first digit okay that means this first first digit okay that means in here see this is actually ones tens hundred then this is ones tens hundred this both numbers are hundred digits number okay so this is actually 600 something and this is 200 something so obviously 600 something will be bigger than 200 something isn't it that means with three digit number when you compare okay that means with same digit digit number if you compare you just have to see the first four digit okay but if there are just imagine if this is a four digit number and if there is three digit number okay so whenever 
you see numbers like this which has to be compared okay what you do is without thinking the number which is having more digit is going to be bigger than the number which is having less digit you don't have to think any much anything okay but in case of same digit numbers what you have to do is you have to see the first first digit this is 600 something and this is 200 something so obviously the number the value of number which is having bigger value should be given greater than sign okay students so this is how we compare and once you know how to compare numbers you can easily order them also okay like for example ordering okay ordering is basically two types which is one one is your ascending order as you already know from before and one is your descending order okay so in case of ascending order you have to arrange from smaller to bigger okay you have to arrange from smaller to bigger okay and in case of descending order it will be vice versa which is from bigger to smaller okay children very simple okay now just imagine let me give you one example okay that i am giving you two three digit now two three questions okay now uh two three numbers if i'm giving if i say arrange this in ascending order so according to ascending order what we have to do we have to see the smallest number so we have children can you say which is the smallest number i think so you are able to say yes this is the smallest number isn't it this is the smallest number then after that this is this is this is yeah this this is the smallest number after that which is the smallest number can you say children within this two this two this two this two this yes okay this is the smallest number and the largest number is this isn't it children so this is how i have arranged this in ascending order now if i want to do it in descending order i will just write in the opposite manner okay i will write this in opposite manner when i will write this in opposite manner this will be in descending order so i guess children you have already understood how to compare and how to arrange any number into certain order isn't it children acha now we are going to discuss about our next topic which is how many numbers can you make okay so for instance children according to your book they have given if you are given with 6 i mean 4 6 and 7 okay now with 4 6 and 7 okay so how many times you can arrange this number they are saying okay so yes let us try so first is we can arrange this into 4 6 7 then we can arrange this as 6 4 7 then we can arrange this as 4 7 6 then we can arrange this as 6 7 4 then, then we can arrange this as 7 4 6 then we can arrange this as 7 6 4 okay so this many type of pattern okay so in this many pattern we can arrange your 4 6 7 digits okay that means if i give you 4 6 and 7 4 and 6 and 7 if i give you you can arrange this three digits into this many patterns isn't it children okay now let us try with another number let us use 7 5 not 7 let us use a number which has not been used over 1 5 and 3 okay so firstly what we can do we can arrange this in that number only okay 1 5 3 then what we can do we can do 5 1 3 okay then what else we can do we can do 1 3 and 5 okay then what else we can do we can do with 5 3 1 then what else we can do we can do with 3 1 5 then what else we can do we can do with 3 5 and 1 so this is the six various ways by which we can arrange 5 1 and 3 or 1 5 3 3 okay we can arrange it into this many patterns okay so children i think so this was very interesting for you all okay 
like with the three digits you can see you can like you can arrange it almost in six various ways six various ways okay you can arrange okay so you can try with four digit number also five digit number also okay so you will find various pattern on which you can arrange a number okay student so for this part of lesson okay we are going to discuss only this much okay so from this part what you have to do is you have to do some classwork and homework again children okay so your homework your classwork will be question number 16 17 and 18 your classwork will be 16 17 and 18 okay and your homework will be question number 19 20 and 21 your homework will be 19 20 and 21 okay children so this many things you have to solve okay so this much is your classwork as well as homework so you have to show me this okay before 5 pm today okay you can send me the pictures of your solution in the whatsapp okay all standing children so you can do this work okay and show me as soon as possible so today we close for this much and our block one is over and block two we are going to discuss in our next video okay which is going to get uploaded tomorrow okay children Achha. thank you for this uh, watching this video okay please do your work okay thank you